Good morning. Midway between winter and spring. Halfway through winter. Please begin lying down with your knees bent. And Setu Banga Sarvangasana. Setu Bandasana. Bridge pose. Clearing the back of your skull so that you can center your head. Have a moment with that, with the idea of centering your spine, including your skull. If you need softness behind your lower back, you can add it here. Down your arms as well as your hands and feet and the back of your head. Feel where else you ground, where you touch the ground. Feet. Pose, sacrum. Much of the back of your torso touches, but your low back lifts away as does your neck. Moving the breath three times. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inhale through your nose, gentle sound. Feel the expansion. Exhale, contract. Feel the downward centering energy of that exhalation. Two more times. Finding that sinking, that grounding into the low belly with the front body. Free breathing through the nose, even waves. Coming up into bridge pose, a sustainable one for 10 breaths, but kind of a relaxed way, just getting started. So feet in close to the body, a little wide from each other. Use your arms and hands as well as your feet to lift up your spine, lift your pelvis. Your head might need to move away from your feet to make room for that lengthening. Open the front body. Connect with your breathing. The idea of taking away effort, where are you overworking? Calm as we come into the last few breaths. This does, like all things, get easier if we persist in doing it. A good everyday practice for the strength of the hips and the opening of the hip flexors. Come on down with an exhale, take your time. The process of lowering the spine, feel it go through the movements to the release, to the neutral. Arms widen out like a T or just comfortably wider. So you can turn out your toes and move your hips from side to side, knees side to side, feet. Go to the edges, alternating sides. This is connected to your lower back. Please be aware throughout practice to practice compassionately. One more thing, you can roll your head from side to side. And just have a few moments of freedom with this experience. Dropping in to yoga practice, settling your mind, coming into your body as a tool for settling the mind. Pause and center and come to a lying twist. The knees stack to one side, pelvis turns to the side. Pay attention to your shoulders and shoulder blades. Turn your head away from your knees. Settle your arms where they feel good. Allow a relaxed belly. Let 
the natural downward energy into the navel center on the exhales is light. There might be moments where your eyes want to rest here or where we don't need to focus on balancing. Quiet your eyes, soften them, and breathe out again. Head returns to center first, then gradually release your spine. The legs come last and go to the other side. Pick up your pelvis, shift it to the side, bring your knees out into that stacking idea. Space between them is just fine. This brings the rotation up into the mid back. Reach out with that opposite arm. The other one across the chest feels pretty nice, so wherever it wants to be for support. Head rolls away from the knees, five breaths. An attitude of compassion and, and this attitude of being here to take care of yourself. Remind your, your busy mind why this is important if you need to. Or just drop in, start breathing, come into your body. Brain's more efficient later. Breathe out again. Head first, the rest of the spine. Mindful. Back to center. Bridge up one more time and come down. That nice neutralizing center. Knees to your chest. One foot up off the floor at a time and catch the other up and catch. Relax your feet and rock on your spine side to side on your low back. Awareness of the central channel of energy throughout the practice. Long neck. Bring your knees out over your pelvis. Hold your knees with your hands and circle a few times, grounding that low part of the spine. Having awareness of that mobility. The halves of the pelvis, the other direction, a few knee circles. Right there, that connection of knees to pelvis. And release. Coming up, if you'd like to go to one side, that's fine. When we tuck our chins, we can rock on our spines. Unless you have an issue that prevents you from doing so, you can probably do this rock up. So the momentum of your knees towards you, hold your shins, and then it's throwing the feet away. There's a little action into that. Let your chin tuck and follow you up. Tuck yourself into your Sukhasana, your easy pose. Do switch your legs regularly in your practice so that you create balance. You keep doing things repeatedly. It's nice to mix it up. How nice to arrive into seated pose, having begun our practice in such a grounded way. Welcome a nice flow of energy that moves along with the breath. I saw breath long and steady, gentle sound once more. Heart gently lifted and shoulders relaxed, sitting with ease, creating ease. Bring up your arms, inhale. Exhale, bring them down and catch your right knee with your left hand. Side bending over to the left side. If that catch is too much, you could Relax that arm in your lap instead. 
If anything's too much, find a way to make it not too much. Strong sensations, okay. Do that one more time. Let go with some slowness because of side bending. Center. Find your mountain. Inhale, arms up. To the other side, like we're coming into the twist. So we do a little twist here and then a side bend. Check in, make sure that's not too far to catch your arm. Knee. Find a steady gaze off your nose. We'll drop shoulders down off the ear. <clears throat> One more time, breathe deeply, remembering to cause no harm. Come up, release your arms up one more time, inhale. Exhale, the hands rest together, feel their energy. Brush the center of your forehead with your thumbs. Brush your heart and lift the heart center with them, bringing your shoulders together and down your back. Shoulder blades settle with a gentle heart lift. Inhale deeply. Oh. Vibration, singing, chanting. Sound, feel the vibration of your breathing, how that movement creates energy, is energy. And then the vibration subtlety of your body. Breathe out one more time. Staying aware of energy throughout practice as one of the ways of settling our consciousness. Coming up to standing. One foot first seems easier than both at the same time. Take a little moment to study standing up from your seat to your feet. Work on your awareness, figure it out with your body and arrive. Touching the big toes or having feet under the hips. And again, settle shoulders and find your mountain spine centered and long, relaxed. Limbs arranged to support that axial body. Access. You know, y'all are really smart. Just that's what that's referring to. Inhale. Up with the arms and the face, greeting the sun. Exhale to forward fold. The sun's always out there. You can separate your feet if you need to and bend your knees if you need to. Lengthen your back body. Inhale, lengthen through the top of your head, arms and spine straightening. Suspend and then breathe out as you spread and step back your legs. Kalakasana. Work where you are with this pose. Calmly resist the compressive energy of gravity. One more time. And bring your knees down. Tuck your toes, go back to puppy pose. Lengthen back. Tail reaches towards the heels and away from the hands, head down. Mindful of knees. And wherever you need to pay attention in your body, do so. Know yourself. Head all the way down. Breathe twice more. Broad shoulders. Striking cobra pose. 
Hands nice and far away. So there's lots of room to come up and explore a high cobra, like upward dog from the knees, mindful of shoulders, just the right amount of pelvis forward. And go back, tuck your toes, lengthen your spine, bow. Slowly back bending, coming up, pelvis forward, lift out of your shoulders, strong arms. Release back, tuck toes, knees and spine. Two more times. Exploration. Moving the spine through the waves of forward bend and back bend. Controlled. All the way into each shape. One more time. And then pull up to cat spine. That's where we do the round spine on your fingertips. Pull your hands in under your shoulders, tops of the feet ground, and a big lift in the mid back. We can safely do the flexion of the spine more deeply, as deeply as it feels good. and release. See a little side flexion by looking back at the right toe, pinky toe. Subtle core awareness as we focus on the muladhara, the root of the spine, also the mula bandha, little uplift in the pelvic floor into the body. Come slowly through center, Maybe do the pick up and reset of your hands. You may do alternative hand positions and side bending to the other side, side flexion. Seven directions of the spine. So the Mula Bandha is connected to Uddiyana Bandha, which is the uplift in the low belly in the front of the body. combination of those two. All of that is connected through fascia. So we come back to center. That's our um, subtle core awareness supporting us in poses like this. Toes tuck and supporting us in bear pose. Lift your knees two inches for one. Long neck, calm, press hands and feet. Feel that return of strength as you press your hands into the ground. Downward dog, straighten your legs, coming towards your heels, bring your head between your elbows. Downward dog, we bring the weight back into the legs so it should feel somewhat of a relief after bear. But we keep practicing bear, so maybe one day. Different strengths, different energies, each pose. Complete energetic form. Breathe out again. Another project of returning to our feet to stand up, step forward, or jump forward. You're working on that hop, lunge yourself, straighten your arms, inhale. Exhale, slowly fold forward. Inhale, stand up. Remember to follow your own body's wisdom and to not look and judge from what others do. I hope to give you the general idea and hope you find it in your own way. Inhale, sky. Sun down there somewhere, bend your elbows behind your head and exhale, bring them down the center, forward fold. Wherever your hands reach, finish your breath. Slowly lengthen through the top of your head, inhale. Bend your knees, spread your hands, other leg back first if possible, step, step. Side plank. Make sure we stay strong with this one. Bring down your left knee. 
Bring your right foot behind it and maybe reach up. You can use both arms as one way of building this foundation. Your own expression, stay grounded. Both feet. One more time, add a little energy, a little growth. Exhale, find the other side. Starts with that hand spread, center. Showing the knee down version where we just create this line of the body that is a challenge in itself. Maybe pull a hand towards the sky, gaze downward or upward. Wide belt around the waist, whatever those are, that those cues that help you when you need your core strength. One more time. Exhale, release. Establish plank pose. And then come down. Cow spine, squeezing your shoulder blades together, focus today. Cat spine, broaden the shoulder blades. Comfortable table, four more times. A little lowering of the heart, shoulder blades squeeze, concentrate on that upper back and then spread your shoulder blades out towards your elbows. Three. It's like cat and cow, but more of a scapula focus, upper back focus. Four, squeeze, heart down. Heart lifts towards the sky. Spread, last one. Child's pose. Slowly pull back, feel your low back stretch on the way down. Toes could tuck, hips stop where they feel good. Reaching your arms to the right side. Walk them out. Just the right amount through your body and relax your head down. You can really let your head come deeply forward in this pose. We tend to hold lots of tension the back of the skull. Towards the other side, just the right amount. Breathe out again. Take the time you need to come back without disturbing your body. Inhale, pull to cow spine. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Exhaling one more time. Step or jump forward. Straighten your legs, breathe in. Forehead towards the shins, breathe out. Stand up, lengthen your spine, you may bend your knees. Exhale, release. Separate your feet hip distance apart. Hold the sides of your pelvis and bend your knees sitting back into chair pose. And actually doing a little pressing downward, create that hip crease to find long spine. Challenge your lowness on this last breath. Open feet, hips as low as they will comfortably go without sitting down on the ground. Press your feet to stand up and release. Holding over the front hip points to Uttanasana variations, forward fold extended pose. Spread your feet. 
come from behind your legs and catch your opposite shins. Knees bent or straight. Find your breath. When you compress your body, your breath will find another way. Exhale, upside down head. Release, bend your knees a bit and bring your hands out to step your left leg back first. Coming to warrior A, so that back heels angled in, press strongly into both feet to stand up. Turning towards the front of the mat, settle your shoulders. You can see your big toe. Arms come up, shoulders down, lift the plane of your face. Gathering energy. It can be symbolic. The idea of reserves of calm energy. Exhale, straighten your front leg and come out to your shin with both hands. Side lengthening pose variation. Exhale for five. Bring your hands down, work your way back, flowing through, elbows in. Straighten arms, pull back, downward dog, one breath. Stepping forward with the left foot, angle the back heel, rise to warrior A. So coming up, we use our feet a lot, and then we can let them spread open once we're into the shape. Shoulders down, plane of the face lifting. Gaze down the nose. Breathe out, release your arms and straighten your leg. Coming forward. Gently land on your shin, lengthen through the top of your head and the sides of your torso. Spread feet, parzvottanasana. Side pose. With an axial extension, that's through the top of the head. Inhale, standing up. Exhale, turn to face the right side of your mat. Starting with your left toes turning towards the front corner, pivot on your heel. Side lunging. Bring out your knee. Lots of ways of working here. So this is a nice start is just to rest out, feel that length in your sides and the inseam of your back leg. If you want to lower, I'll turn sideways. If you want to lower your hips towards the ground, you can use your hands to support that. And then the last thing is you can lift those back toes off the ground. So come in the right ankle of your knee and foot. That feels good. Positive. I know it's a lot of explaining, but if you already are in this shape, you get longer to work on it. One more breath. Coming to the other side. You can just flow right in or come all the way up and explore. Side lunge, second side. Comfortable turnout of your leg at the Hip, knee, and foot. Lengthening the inseam of the back leg. Stretching and strengthening hips. One more time. Coming up to wide standing forward fold position. 
a neutral center. Deep waves of breath. Exhale, lengthen your spine, head towards the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. You can bring your hands forward, you can bend your knees. Exhale, coming off your hands, let your longest fingertip lead last. Peel yourself off that little press at the end and stand and catch your pelvis. Breathe out, grounded. Feel that connection of hands, pelvis, feet. Triangle pose to the right side. Spin on the heel, turn out your foot. You may change the angle of the back foot if you would like and tilting over to the side. Strong legs, open feet, strong center. Reach your arms up and down. You can ground the lower one. And the last thing is a long neck upper gaze. It's a side gazing technique, Parsa Drishti, side gaze. Gently stretch eyes. Inhale coming up, maybe finding the pelvis again that reminds us to take care of our spines, our low backs, and to use our core strength around to the other side and just Creates grounded connection to your body through your pelvis. Feel your pelvis. Foundation established, leading to the side, lengthening out. Release the arms to extend. Face and eyes sideways towards the sky. Whole body participating in the extended triangle auspiciousness, breathing out a last time. Breathe in, coming up with some slowness. Pelvis. Right into warrior B on that side, add a knee bend over the ankle. You can widen your feet if you'd like. Stretch out your arms, one forward, one back. Just the neck turns in the spine. It's a neutral spine with the neck turn to look forward. Other side, meditation, change sides. Turn foundation first. Check the whole body. Just a quick scan. Concentration is part of the settling of the mind, part of this practice. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be now, non-harming. Lean and reach, extended side ankle, keep the foundation, bring out that top arm, spin your torso towards the ceiling, gather your fingers. Calmly breathe one more time. To the other side, inhale. And exhale. Trying to take extra breaths. It's part of self care. But when we tap into a sense of our own body's vibrations, is the breath energy. The balance of prana and apana. Inhale, pranic. Exhale, apanic, downward grounding, emptying. So, pranic inhale helps you come up. Exhale, turn your feet. Apanic energy helps you ground and finish. Come back to the top of your neck, please. Or possibly step off to a wall. 
last standing bit. Um, working on the leg float, shift into your right leg, concentrate, find a steady gaze on the floor in front of you. Out a bit. List, start with the list. Get a piece of paper underneath that left foot. Activate your outer hip muscles. You might just have a sense of that area. Brain coping with being off center. It does come back to center. That's part of its job. And this is yoga helps us build awareness, stability, ability to catch ourselves more easily if we lose our balance. List. A curious attitude is nice to add to the practice all throughout. And it keeps it from being judgmental or harsh on yourself. You just do your best. And that was interesting, right? Other side. Um, so shift back into your right foot and try the left foot coming out to stay down, stand tall, lift it out. So if it puts too much strain on your low back to lift it up high, you can add a knee bend to continue lifting up high. Wherever your arms support you. Try to reach a bit through your toes if your leg is straight. Four, slightly higher, inhale, and exhale, control as you can, come down, land, ready for the other side if possible. Right into it, shift and lift. One, full permission given to do what you need to do. One more time. Slow down. This is this will help make it easier if you can come out slowly, at least sometimes ground and land. Into your legs, pass up. Inhale, side to side, exhale, inhale, center, exhale, other side. Arms a circle, shoulders down, inhale, center. Release your fingers. Come down slowly. Hands to the floor. Step back, both legs. Come down, cross your ankles, and come to your seat. Dandasana, tuck your chin lightly. Tall spine, toes back. Toes point, lift your chin. Purva Tanasana or heart lift pose. Fingers forward as you bring your arms back behind you. Spread your hands. The spinning outward energy helps you open shoulders here. Think about lifting for five or lift. That same reaching of the feet that we just did standing. Head back or chin tucks. One more time. Lower and release. Bada Konasana. Bring your feet together. Bring them in as close as they want to come. And here are some side to side rocking. Just helps release your sitting bones to an evenness. Bottom means bound. Ankle pose. So hold your ankles or your toes. Sit up tall. Breathe in. Slowly hinge forward from your hips. So this is the straight spine extending out, causing no harm. Pay attention, find the right place in your body. 
Feet can be away from the hips. Knees can have support. They can be high. Slowly breathe one more time. Your range of motion. A tiny bit of determination to stay with sensation that can get a little strong. Be compassionate with it. And coming up, tall spine. Looking at it slightly differently in Malasana, feet come together and now the knees apart. Hold shins, heart through, reach arms if you would like, one at a time to help you walk out and down. Two, three, four, and five. Take your time coming out and bring your knees together. Legs out, Ardha Matsya Andrasana. Bend your right knee, bringing it to face forward on your mat. Top foot to the floor, coming around the knee. One variation of this pose is for that bottom leg to be straight instead. You know that's an option. And we sit tall and face this top leg. Give yourself room, lean back. So you can turn your belly and your chest. Hand behind you helps you sit tall, keep it close to your body. The other hand and arm supports your hip. You may consolidate that hip in towards the center, unless that's too much pressure. And then just let it be, let it settle where it feels the right amount of intensity. Gaze back. Slow breathing. Soften into your range of motion. One more time. Take your time letting go of those actions. Coming to the other side. Center, left knee forward or extend it out. Right foot in, across the bottom leg. Tall spine, lean back, turn. Hand close to your back, sit tall. And then there's this consolidation in this pose to whatever degree it looks. Spinal twist, hip stretch. Slow, slow breathing. One more time. Gradually come back to center. Letting go. Easy wide legs, lean back with the fingers comfortably back spinning. So the front of the shoulders feel an openness. Let's take a yin style lean back release. You can do a little side to side. And then let yourself rest back, not collapsed. You are lifted, your neck is long, your chest is gently up. Meditative, downward gazing, centered. Breathing out, one more time. Come upright and fold yourself into your, your favorite at, at the moment seated meditation pose. So cross legs or folded knees. 
where we go back to the back of our bodies. So the, the chakras, the energy centers run along the main river of energy, the spinal cord, so at the base of the spinal cord, that's where the muladhara, which means root support or root base, resides. Try to sense that energy where you come closest to the ground with your spinal cord. Representing stability, basic needs, connection with the earth. Coming into the Pran Mudra, which is one of the earth gestures, it's the two fingers, the bottom two fingers, touch the thumb slightly. And peace sign the other two. Um, so light touch, rest care comfortably on your legs. Doing adding to this alternate side breathing using the mind. Inhale through the right side of your nose. Exhale, left side. Keep your hands comfortable in the gesture, not forcing. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Reversing the pattern. Bring ease wherever you can bring it. Shoulders, hands, face. Right inhale. Left exhale. Last time, left to right. Relax, open your hands, breathe three times through both sides. Connecting that breath through the nose all the way to the root. Last one, the upward energy of inhale. Spine lengthening. The downward energy of exhale, spine lengthening. And release. Notice vibration. Sense your own energy. Where do you feel? There's no wrong answer. We stop thinking so much and start noticing we notice. Um, inversion of your choice, if you want to come to a piece of furniture or a wall and put your legs up in a relaxed way, that's nice. You can stay there for resting pose as well. Or from your mat, centering on the back of your skull, lie down and Bring your legs into the air. Supporting shoulder stand, a little uplift by bringing your legs towards you and slide your hands under the back of your pelvis and then resting onto your hands as you reach your legs gently up. Slightly separate your heels. If you can, keep your toes together. Everything grounding into the pelvis here, the breaths, the legs.
and 10. Complete your breath. Bring your legs towards you to come off your hands if you're doing that method. Ananda Balasana, wide legs, knees bend, feet towards the sky. Connect your hands somewhere on your body. The knees come down on either side of your torso to whatever degree. We can make this into a yin shape here at the end of our practice. Just start to let it soften muscularly. Experience it as a soft energy hold. It's, it's connected to your spine here, the legs up. So a mindful lowering of the legs, maybe the knees come into the chest first and one at a time, the feet can come down. And from that compression of the front hips, a little bit of side to side with the knees, so it was turning out. Free movement. You could do legs in the air, free hip movement for a moment as well, if you would like. Palms down, grounding, wide legs might feel interesting as part of that. And gravity compress. And a mindful. Stretching out low back long, knees to chest first can facilitate. Stretch out, stretch out. Give yourself supports that you might need. Settle shoulder blades and low back, center skull, long neck. Hands and feet soft and open. Forehead slightly higher than the chin. Allowing the body that is made of food to relax completely. Revealing the animation of that outer body The prana maya kosha, this layer of energy. You might experience a sense of lightness, vibration, pulsing. Resting with awareness of your vital energy. Breath is completely free and relaxed. The vital energy is separate from the breath, but it can move with the breath. 
beginning the deepening process that in your mind, that consideration of feeling in breath and out breath. Deeply inhale. So wait until you can take a complete cycle of inhale, adding the upreaching of your arms and downreaching of your legs. Out breath, bring your arms down beside you. Feel your breath round you into your belly, available anytime. Ground it into your belly for the roll to the side, either side. Working that top hand to the floor, so pull towards your belly, press into both arms here. Use that lower arm too, until you can come up enough and spin it to the hand. So that process of sitting. Just come back in for a little finishing. Oh. Returning to this self-generated awareness of your chronic body. Anytime. Lighting the mind, find your breath, ground yourself. Thanks for this exploration together. You're, you inspire me. Mula Dara. <laughs>